So let's jump into this video. I've always been inspired by understanding why do I do what I do? What motivates me? Why do people take actions? Why do other people have this natural drive to succeed and win and why do others not? So there was a concept by Maslow that we're gonna go ahead and break down today and it is the basic needs and the structure. I have this diagram and in the middle it says survival. At the very root, at our very core, we are all programmed to survive. Same thing with animals and other species as well. We have this drive to want to put ourselves in a situation to live and make it to the next day. Um, ideally, you know, in a way that feels good, right? Without tons of pain, right? We're always running away from pain and running towards pleasure. You know, with that, we can actually look at these basic needs that people have and the things that, you know, motivate us. What we're looking at right now is a chart and it's a pyramid because there's five different levels of need. Uh, the first one is going to be physical needs. This is you going out there and getting the basic necessities like air, water, food, all that kind of stuff, right? And then in the second level, we have safety, okay? That's gonna be like security, shelter, right? You feel Feeling like, hey, I can go to sleep at night and someone's not gonna go and steal everything I have, right? Above that, we have love. That's gonna be your intimate relationships, your personal friendships, where you feel like, hey, I'm supported by a group. Um, and then above that, we have self-esteem, which when we break this down, it's like you working toward your highest potential, right? And if we actually look at this chart, you could actually see that below the line, we have these basic necessities, right? Shelter, food, air, you know, relationships, right? And you you know, what's interesting about this is that most people are trying to figure that part out. They're just trying to make it to the next day so that they can go ahead and, you know, say, hey, I, I lived another day. I, I have another paycheck, you know, the bills paid to put foot on the table and whatnot. And one thing that Maslow said was your motivation decreases as your basic needs are met. So let's just say that you were really, really hungry. You're going to be motivated to go and get some food, right? But once you get the food, you are no longer extremely hungry and your motivation to go get food decreases right? That's just a simple example. Another example of that would be, hey, I'm going out there and I just lost 10 pounds and I have base, all my basic necessities. Now I'm on a pursuit to, you know, reach my potential and I just lost 10 pounds. I'm gonna be, and, and, and I feel like I can lose another 10. I'm gonna be more motivated to do that. I just got, you, you know, my business running. I just made 20 grand. Well, cool. Now I'm more motivated. I have some wins. Let's go for a hundred grand a month, right? And it's, it's interesting because I know that for me, I was really blessed and put in a spot where my basic, basic needs w were met, right? My, my parents always found a way to put food on the table, had shelter, you know, there was love and, and that was a lot of really good things. So the, the, the problem that a lot of people are running into now though is the market is changing and what used to get the job done before is no longer getting the job done. In the 1960s, you could have a guy that was, you know, making minimum wage and it was equivalent to making six figures today and it was pretty easy for him to go and, you know, meet little Susie at, at, at his high school, at his at his college and, you know, be with her, create a family, have relationships, put a roof over their heads, have food, you know, get some basic achievements under his belt and, and have the good life. The bar is so much higher today and people's perspective has also shifted, right? People have a desire to connect with people that have a high, high social uh, currency. They are high value men, high value women. And as you become higher and higher value, people gravitate towards you and wanna connect with you, which ultimately gives you more resources and helps you handle those basic needs, right? Now we're in a marketplace where if you have high, high social currency, which is a mixture of, of your income, your social status online, um, also, you know, credentials and all the things that were typically, you know, involved in, in a status before, you will have an abundance in the marketplace. And now there's this shift and in, in ever since the 1960s, it will keep going down this way. So. We have a few different paths that I can go down and you can go down. We can decide to, you know, work in the system and be okay with us being, you know, at the bottom right? And, and this is ultimately what I believe that people have to ascend to and, and through to not only get more skill sets, but to also satisfy their basic need, right? So if we go and look at this and we break this down in levels, we have the lowest level where you have slaves, you have people that are owned by other people. And some would argue, hey, you are a slave watching this right now. Then you have a level above that, which is the order takers. These are people that do those tasks that a robot will eventually do, right? It's like the person that's checking out the 
the groceries. A robot will replace you. It's the person that is going in there and they're typing the same thing every single day. A robot will replace you. Above that, you have somebody that's actually a thinker. You have somebody that can actually solve problems and, and actually bring solutions to the table. Very, very rare today. Uh, one, because people expect to only do the exact duties in their job description. If there's a problem that pops up, it's not their job to figure that out because it's not in their job description. And thinkers will make more than order takers, right? And then above that, you have you know someone that is a thinker, ideally, um, they're a manager that can run people, they can manage people, they can manage thinkers, and they can create products, they can get results, they can get revenue. And that is what used to get the job done to meet someone's basic need, food, shelter, relationships, and all that good stuff. But right now, people are still trying to go ahead and ascend through these levels and expecting to have all their basic needs met. And it's just not like that anymore. Now you have to become a creator. And what I mean by that is a creator is somebody that can actually, one, find problems in the marketplace and create opportunities. Two, there's somebody that can actually go out there and create new streams of revenue. This doesn't mean you have to be a creator and start your own business, it means that you are somebody that can add some real value to the marketplace. And when you keep doing that over and over, what happens is, is you'll go ahead and you'll slide on through um, this scale and you'll go from, hey, let me, hey, 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 boss, could I get a pay increase? Could, could you give me a, you know, a 50 cent uh, raise per an hour? You'll go from that to your pay is in your hands. It's completely controlled by you because you have creator, creator skills. You have a skill stack, a set of skills that can create new opportunities, new revenue streams, and really bring value to the marketplace. And the people that have just employee skills will be left behind. They will not ascend. And what will happen is, is you'll have people that understand this and take advantage of the opportunities that are in the marketplace right now. They'll tap into an abundance that is there for those that want to take advantage of it.